Welcome back, Best Uni Crew. It's your girl. So I'm coming on to try this one more time. I don't understand what's going on with my sound. When I got it on my tablet, it's talking, but when I upload it, it's not talking. So we're gonna try it again. So I'm trying to teach people how to slice a print and cut image to make it big as possible when they want to print. Um, first of all, I use an, I'm using an iPad and I always use my iPhone. So if you have a laptop, your images are gonna be um, totally different from how mine's looking right now, but they all do the same. Uh, if you are familiar with cleaning the image, I prefer you to go ahead and pause the TV now and just kind of walk through the steps with me. Maybe that'll help. But what I'll find an image of your choice, all you have to do is uh, upload it. You're going to push the upload button on your Cricut Design Space. You're going to find an image of your choice and you're going to upload it. You should get somewhere it look like this. But on your laptop, it's going to look totally different. Now, the the black box right here, you see it? It's uh, in the right-hand corner. It's not been cleaned yet. So you can always just save a picture whole like this, but it's not going to let you get a big, big print. You can slice it as much as you want, but it's still going to consider that background as part of the picture. So it's always good to clean the image. So I'm going to go to remove, and I'm just going to hit the background. That's all I want to be clean because I want that picture to have that color and all. So I'm gonna go to next, I'm gonna go to next, and I'm gonna save the print and cut the print then cut image, the color, and then um, I'm gonna just name it. I said me and Lord, <laughs> and then I'm gonna upload it. Okay, it took it a minute. I'm sorry. So, I'm going to upload it. And I'm going to slice him into pieces. Now, what you want to do is grab a shape. So, go to your shapes. I always get the square. So, you unlock the box that's on the square, which will be at the bottom left corner. Just unlock it. You see it's locked now. And just touch it. You can unlock it. I use the green arrows to make it go side, you know, all that good stuff. So I'm just going to go half. I want him to be cut in half. So I'm going to highlight all of it after I get the box over the image like I got it. I'm going to highlight the whole image with the box on top of it. And I'm going to go to slice under action. Okay. It's only on that. You slice your bit your bottom right if you're on a laptop or something. Okay, try to slice it as even as possible because if your pieces are like weird looking, then it's going to be kind of hard to find. So I try to slice it as easy, even. So right now I got them into two pieces. You do not need to do what I just did. Do not pull the picture apart. Leave it just like this. They leave it together. Grab another shape, which will be another square. This is if you want them real big. Now, if you just want them a little wide or something like that to get a bigger print. Now, remember, Cricut only going to let you print so big. So, you're going to have to slice them into pieces and put, put it together like a puzzle. Okay? You see where I sliced them at? The yellow line show up. You see it? So, they let me know that's where it's cut at. So, I need to stop there. So, if I go over that line, you don't see the yellow line. Mm -hmm. But if I go right there, just let me know to stop right there. So I want to slice him. I'm going to slice him into a couple pieces. Try to slice them where it won't be so hard for you to put it together. So you're going to highlight only the side that you're going to slice off of. Because if you highlight all of it, it's not going to slice. See, so I just want this one side that I got the square on right now. Because it's already sliced in half. If I do the whole picture... And I go to action, you see my word slice won't show up. So I got to highlight just the side that I'm going to slice. And now you see slice showed up. So I'm going to push slice. It takes that out of the way because I don't need that. 
Do not pull him apart. Leave him just like this. Grab another shape. Do the same thing. Find that yellow line showing you where you slice that up on top and in the middle. Get your highlight button and only slice them two pieces that are still together on that one side. Now, don't go all the way up like this because then the slice is not going to show up. See? Because they're no longer together. So now you just want to slice what's together, which would be this part right here. So I'm going to put my square there and I'm going to only highlight that little area here on the left. And as you can see, it's only covering a certain area because that's still together. So I can only slice pieces that are still together. So I'm going to go to slice. And make sure your box is hanging over the picture. Like over to the left, you see it still is over the picture because you don't want to slice on like directly a straight line. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I grab another shape. I'm going to go to this side. You see how if I want to slice, you got to make sure it's covering the whole picture. See right here, you see half his hat hanging out to the right. You do not want that. You want it to cover the whole picture. And then you slice because if you don't, then you're going to be looking crazy. Once again, uh, it shows you where that line is at. It stops you. I don't know about the laptop now because I don't use it a lot. So you're just going to highlight this one side. You're going to go to action. You're going to slice. But you're just going to go look for slice at the bottom right corner on your uh, laptop screen. So I'm going to remove that. So you see his face at the top is sliced. This bottom half is not. So now I just got to get a shape and cover that bottom half right here. And I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to go to slice. So now I got him in about, what, good six pieces. Let's see how big Cricut will let us go. So highlight all of it. Lock your box to move all of it at one. So make sure you highlight all of it to move all of it. Okay? So now unlock your box. Once you move it to where you want it to go, go to edit. Or just look at the very top of your screen. You'll see your width and your height with numbers. And you can change those numbers on your laptop. Okay, so I'm going to try to go, let's see, let's do 12. Okay, so 12 is good because you see at the bottom, you don't see no warning sign saying it's too big. My warning sign going to pop up where my layer is at. So now I'm going to go 12.6. Still no warning sign. So I'm going to push it a little bit. I'm going to add a number. No warning sign. So I'm going to erase that number. Add another number. No warning sign. Okay. Let's see. We're going to leave that there. We're going to mess with the height. We do 23 height. Got a warning sign. See the warning sign on my layer? My word layers? If I push it, it got warning signs on which is too big. Everything else is not too big. Only thing going to be too big is this big block of his face and the other block of his face. That's because it's the biggest part, but everything else was like little. So I got to make my measurements just right. So I still need all of it highlighted. So let's go go 20. Let's see, can we do 20 height? We can We can do 20 height. Let's see, can we do 21 height? We can. 20, what did I say? 20, did I do 23? We did, we did 23. So let's see, can we go 22? So we can do 22 point, let's see, 9, 8. Let's see what they do. Too big. 90. Too big. Let's go 60. Too big. 50. Too big. 30. Okay. Let's see if we can get 40. 9. Nope. 8. 8. No. 7. I'm just trying sizes. See how big you can go. Okay, so, so far, from what I see, the height can be 22.41. 41 height. Let's do... Let's see how far we can get that width. I know we did 12.69. That was too big. 
Nope, not too big no more. Let's see. Let's see if we can go to 90. We can go to 12.90. So let's try to go 13. We can do 13. Let's see, can we go 14? Okay, 14 too big. So it's 13 point, let's say 9, let's say 88. Too big. So 80. Too big. 30. Let's see, 70. 60. 50. Nope. Okay. So two eight. Mm, let's see two seven. Two. Okay. Okay. So thirteen point two six width. So, I don't know how to say it. 13.26 width. And then the height can go all the way up to 22.41 height. Which is going to print out six sheets of paper. So, we're going to go to make it. Look how big that is. So put down in front of you six pieces of paper. And it's gonna show you almost the length. But you gotta put them together like a puzzle. So he's gonna be pretty decent size. I would say he's gonna be a good pre, you know, decent size. You just had to put them together like a puzzle. I got videos on that if you wanna find that. Uh I hope this helps somebody. But just load this. You see how it print out? You got to print it first. Once you print it, you're going you're gonna to load it into your Cricut Design Space. And then you're going to push the Continue button. After you print it and you load the paper on your mat. You push Continue. Cricut going to scan it a couple times. And then it's going to cut it. Then you go to the next one. You just put the paper down. It got to match up. Now the picture's got to match just like the side when you swipe. When it say next. To load the next picture, you got to have that exact picture. And then you push Continue. That's it. If it didn't help you, let me know what I kind of messed up at this flame. Um, if you want me to do a video showing me cutting stuff out like this, I, I can do another one. But I know I got some on here. But if you want me to do another one, I need at least a thousand likes on this one video. Y'all have a blessed one.